It's Sunday night. It's the After Eight Mint Show with the E-Worms. And me doing some turning in the background. Champion man. Good evening, everybody. Hope you're all keeping well out there in YouTube land. Um, what are I doing? Oh, hi, the guys. Right. Tonight, for your delectation, we have got DJ Shugtastic and MC um, <laughs> Jake and Jamie won't be in tonight. It's Jamie's birthday, and he's gone out with family and Jake for a, a birthday meal. Um, so I hope he's having a great time on that one. And uh, just pop you guys back in the background again. Change camera. Show everybody what I'm doing. Right. I've got a piece of spalted beach on the lathe tonight. As you might see, there's a couple of um, bits of turn I've done there. I was cutting this piece on the bandsaw, getting it thinned down a bit. And um, there's a couple of nails hiding right inside, not shown either end of the wood, hidden right inside the piece. So that's another bandsaw blade knackered. Connected. So when I, when I finish tonight, um, I'll be going and ordering, order some more bandsaw blades. Right, so oh. this is just under um 12 inches across and around about three inches deep nice so i'll get on it. i'll do my usual <laughs> get on and do some turning and let the guys take over the chat so here we go oh here we go so oh, Scott, Scott, the, 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 Scott, yes, mate. hold on hold on before you go any further Let's just clarify something here. I'm glad you put a P in that. MC Bum. <laughs> <laughs> Get me worried with that. Jack goes for Brighton. <laughs> right, mate. Go for it then. Go for so it. Joining us this evening for Wayne's Turning and some tumbling lessons, we have Weevil, Charlie Taylor, Martin Brees, Dr. Bob. Some weird bloke from Coventry called Chuck. Hey! <laughs> Joey! At the depot. <laughs> Joey! Uh, Billy Brown. Colin Izzard. To rest too low. Just lift that up a bit. Shane Hurst. Malcolm Douglas. Barry Chitty, Matt Wackley, and that's all I can see in my chat at the moment. Okie dokie, there we go. Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Robert sit, Hodgepodge is in. Sit back, fasten your seatbelts. <laughs> you'll, you'll find, you'll find uh, emergency exits there, there, and there. <laughs> So we have to keep it classy tonight. Yes. Hashtag keep it classy. Yeah, but I thought it was Saturday night mint show. All right. Hashtag don't worry about the classiness. Just you know, go with the flow. Well, I was just wondering, you know, it's Jamie's birthday today. Yes. But my dad always told me, right, he says he's 40, but he's pretty younger. And my dad always told me you're as old as the woman you feel. Hmm. Correct. You are. <clears throat> Correct. Uh, my dad, that's what my, that's what my dad. Ke well, that's why my dad keeps telling me that he's on the lookout for a twenty-one-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Martin at Woody's Creations is in as well. He said, "Good evening, Wayne, Ian Worms, and everyone watching." And good evening to you, Martin. And good evening. Hello, Dor. Oh, that's another one. Damn. What? Yeah. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Holy moly. Right, I don't know if you can see it. Wait, well, you can't. Yeah. Uh, I can, yeah, I can see you. Point, yeah. Yeah. Holy moly. They've got to be old nails, then, if they're in that tree. Oh. Uh, there's <laughs> nails all over the place here. Right, where's as, me? As Hodgepodge uh, says, 
Son of a beach. Son of a beach. <laughs> yeah, Son there's of another beach. one. Right, this one, I obviously thought I'd get all of it out, but I hadn't. Damn. If I, that's that's actually lead. Somebody's been shooting this tree. That's what they've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't hit a cow's bum with a banjo, but they managed to hit a tree with some lead. Carry on turning it, it'll find the target. <laughs> hey! He's... Yeah, that, that's definitely not steel, that. Yeah. Yeah, that's just breaking off. Got a small enough hammer, Wayne. <laughs> this, um, I've had that hammer for ages. I, I was, once upon a time, when I was in the army, I was classed as an expert hammer thrower. One and a half pound <laughs> ball peen hammer. Skated mm -hmm. off a concrete floor to smack into Lazy, lazy Get's shins. I was pretty good at that. <laughs> <laughs> He's had the same mamma for 12 years. <laughs> He's had 15 handles. And <laughs> <laughs> 14 new heads. <laughs> Why is it what like a big gun, huh? Hey, me, what are they? That's pretty huge, whatever it is. Oh, this is annoying me now. Right, bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Hey, no problem. I don't think it was a shotgun they shot it with. I think it was a cannon or a musket. Oh, yeah, imagine that. Turn out to be medieval shot. <laughs> soldier, soldier, won't you marry me? Careful, Scott. They may say yes, and that's and that's bigger me. And Scott says it'd be pretty bigger me as well. <laughs> Jesus. Woodworm Paul's in. Good evening, Paul. Hey, uh, you've Paul. joined. You've joined us as we're about to shoot our lead. <laughs> I, I don't know what the bloody hell it is. <clears throat> Well, all I know is the last time I saw an extraction like this going on was when them screws snapped out the uh, faceplate. So there's 34 watching. And there's oh, right. What, what's happened here is that somebody has put in some sort of packing around the nail. Oh, I found really? the nail. I don't know if I'll be able to get that out. 22 lovely people have got the opportunity to hit that thumbs up. That's the one. Uh, Robert Hodgepodge said, this wood didn't come from Oak Island, did it? Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> don't, don't you start on that Oak Island. There you are. You fighter. Oh. That's the one. Swine. I bet that's ruined me bloody gouge as well. Yeah, it has. I'll just have to give this a sharpen. Bear with me. We're having a good one tonight, aren't we? Yes, hey. don't you worry, mate. Don't you worry. It's <clears> effing <throat> mean. Emotional damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't oh, help man. it. It just it just seemed <laughs> apt at that point. <laughs> James Crawford's joined us. Evening, James. <laughs> Charlie Taylor says you may you may need a blacksmith. <laughs> oh, you're not wrong there, Charlie. <laughs> uh, and Martin of Woody's so Creations <clears throat> said uh, someone nailed a target to the tree and then tried shooting it. it quite possibly. <laughs> Go on, Scott. Just goes to show though that not all your blanks that you buy or prepare are. Well, this one, I mean, um, I don't know how how his chainsaw actually got on, but this is a piece that I got from Dai. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, see us a stitch up, dice ball. Oh, I'll give that to Wayne. Well, see, I turned the other half of this a wee while ago, and there was no nails in that whatsoever. Camera it's Wayne. another one. It's another one of them two foot judges. That's where it is. Do you know where two foot judges? <laughs> <laughs> camera Wayne, camera, camera. <laughs> What's the two foot judge doing, Wayne? It's one of them little things sent to try us. Hodgepodge <laughs> <laughs> says, Joe, you're silently lapping his foot off watching me. Andy, Andy's Andy. in and he said, firing blanks? What have I just walked into? <laughs> Yes, Martin, this blank was formed long before the advent of No More Nails and Gorilla Glue. <laughs> right, let's hope there's no more in there. Right, let's stick a mortise in this. Oh, Dr. Bob says where he worked for the government, he lived in <coughs> Manassas, Virginia, near an old Civil War battlefield. And he found many uh, trees in his yard that all had that had all sorts of bullets and square nails in them. Madness. So you know, Willow Taylor's in, and Terry from TJ Turnings joined us. And hey, Lewis. Terry. And Lewis. Good evening. Good evening. How the devil are you? Yeah, that, at that point you don't know whether to turn it or weigh it in. It's got that much metal in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll add it to some scrap bag. That seems to be a bit better. There's no nails in that bit. Well, let's hope there's no more in the whole piece, to be fair. Yeah. See what happens when I start cleaning the inside out. Yeah, that's a point. Oh, I've just had a thought, Wayne. Imagine what's going to happen when you start cleaning the inside out if you manage to find the other side of that nail hole. It'd be a holy bowl. That, that'll be well, three times in the last week. <laughs> <laughs> when I took that, um, that last nail out, <clears throat> it did actually have a point on the end of it, so I think that was it. Yeah. That's still not sharp. Copper owls in. Rob came hey, in at the start Rob. and he bought it off again. Oh. Oh. And Ashley's in. She's Ashley's late. In. Sorry, I'm late. Uh, Ashley, <clears throat> here's a public service announcement. Ash <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, have you have you seen the message I sent you on Insta yet? Andy says managed to repair the damage damaged door on my hobby bandsaw, much to joy and elation. First cut broke the blade. Oh. 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 Yeah, it's the uh, Homer Simpson moment. No! Yeah, Rob's been watching since the beginning. I didn't see his name. Uh, no, we we saw it when we were setting up earlier on. We seen that the the because the, uh, he commented right at the beginning. So happy days. And Ashley oh, says, "Wait." <laughs> Oh, 
There we are then. <laughs> it's JP in. No, JP's out for a birthday meal tonight, Lewis. He's gone out with his family and Jake for a birthday meal. His brother from another mother. Oh, hang on. The Walnut King's in. Hold on. Hold ben. on. <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's must have shut its doors. Uh, uh, here's Ben. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Is that another one, mine? No, no. I'm just wondering whether to take this down to get rid of the, the divots where they were. I think I will. He's tempting fate, Ellie. <laughs> <Hey. coughs> Thanks to Jed on after. It will still be a beautiful piece at the end. Of course it will. If not, it'll be a frisbee. <laughs> UFOs spot spotted over Dumfries. <laughs> You're joking, man! You're joking! <laughs> We're turning to buy Barry's in as well. Good evening, mate. Some nice spalting in that. Very nice spalting. Yeah. Get my small gouge and see if I can get rid of this. Just got a bit of tear out there. In fact, that's Ooh. the only place. Let's see if I can get Ooh, rid. You little tear away, you. Ashley shouting again, look. Where's shout Joey when you Ashley. need him? <laughs> Where's Joey? He can shout louder than Ashley. <laughs> he's in the deep hole. <laughs> he's in the deep hole. And he's wally cried. <laughs> and how are you this evening, Ashley? Or in your time, it'll be, um, well... Mm, the afternoon for you, I think. Now it is. Yes, it will be, won't it? Yeah. Five <laughs> five hours behind. Yeah. That's what. Ten the past three. Yeah, mid afternoon. Yeah. I will actually <laughs> let you know what it is like. Uh, I will see if it's kept it classy after it's washed. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ashley's Gret. All right, Gret. How are you? <laughs> Gret. Greta Thunberg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want her coming into a wood turn in life. She'll be getting all the ump, you know. <laughs> oh, he's here. He's here. Nah, nah. Joey. Joey. At Home Depot, you can get a lot of things here at Home Depot. You can get anything you want at Home Depot. It's a nice day. Grab your wallet, amigo. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it. Done it, Joey. I've Magic, done it for you, mate. <laughs> right, I'm just sorting out some abrasive for Drilly. It's awesome, isn't it? It is awesome. I can't believe I didn't get the ransom for Drilly last weekend, you know. Uh, the what? Rans ransom. The ransom. Wayne couldn't afford to pay the ransom after he'd paid Drilly's appearance fee. <laughs> Talk about holding the man to ransom anyway. <laughs> oh, I, did, I did an old age pension, uh, you know, discount on it. <laughs> That's why there's no um, Jaffa cakes in the workshop. Oh, I don't even go there about Jaffa cakes and stuff, Jack. Don't even go there, mate. I, I, I can't have them, and I've just been given a huge bleeding bag of them. Oh, you got my address, Jack. <laughs> uh, oh, don't, don't worry. I have, I have a feeling they won't last very long. <laughs> Rob said that's a beautiful shape you've set up for Drilly there, Wayne. <clears throat> Thank you. Correct. 
ladies and gentlemen, 17 of you lovely people have an ideal opportunity to smash that thumbs up and put a smile on our Wayne's face. Well, an even bigger one anyway. <clears throat> and don't forget, there is a buy me a coffee at the top, which is uh, a buy me a wine, which is a wine flavoured coffee or a coffee flavoured wine. I'm not sure which, but when or decide on the day. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart and Grooley's in. Good evening, Stuart. Hiya, Stuart. Joey's got a question for you, Wayne. He says, Yep. What wood are we turning on this lovely evening? We are turning Spalted Beach tonight, Joey. And the Spalting is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Wayne's already having a beach of a job. Oh, it's being a real beach. <clears throat> I think last, I think it was last year when we were all, when we all met up down at uh, Deals before he moved, Wayne of the Big Feet brought loads of plastic boxes for people. So I finally put them to use. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. They're not little grey ones, are they? Um, them ones down there. Yeah, yeah, finally yeah. Put, finally put them to use with, for... All of my abrasives. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. No, no wonder he's always got a grin on his face. <clears throat> Andrew AGK just popped in. He says, hi, guys. And Wayne just popped in to say hi. We're out for a family dinner tonight. Have a oh, nice start. one, Andrew. Nice one. Spot on, mate. Spot on. Well, enjoy yourself, Wayne. Camera. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, you have a great night, Andrew. <clears throat> Just think, this time last week, me and Wayne were eating free pizza and <laughs> drinking cider. <laughs> yes, we were. I was trying to keep my eyes awake. Uh, eyes open. Right, I think <laughs> yeah. I may just oil this one. What do you think? No, oh, we've yeah. got to do it for Yorkshire. All right, then. <laughs> just oh, smack my elbow on the tool rest. No, it, oh, don't only do only that. Only because I want to see um, Shug find the clip. <laughs> oh, well, he's I'm already found it. Has he? I've, I've located it. We had it on earlier. Ashley, Ashley, what's that that's, that uh, Wayne's spraying out of that can? Sealer! <laughs> Sealer! <laughs> Sealer! Douglas Mungham's in. Hey, Douglas. Good evening, Douglas. Good evening, Douglas. I still can't figure out why, if you're banging a nail into a piece of wood, you need to have some sort of, um, it was it was like, um, you know the car stuff, the, the car repair stuff, Shug? Mm -hmm. That's yeah, what yeah, it was, stuff. that's what it was like. Huh. Rob Podgepodge says, is that ripple in the wood on the side opposite the... Uh, Joy for Yorkshire! There is a little bit yes. here, not very much, but this part here, that's um, that's actually more spalton. That is stunning. Yes, Ashley. Uh, um, so <laughs> Ashley asked the question, did Wayne decide to use sand and cedar because he was going to use Yorkshire grit? Uh -uh. Yes, I did. 
I do believe, uh, Scott, that Ashley was maybe being a bit facetious there. Because uh, Ash uh, Ashley is the queen of Sand and Sela. She's done so much research on it. Uh, Ashley said he will answer saying, right, first. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she, I knew it. Absolutely knew it. <clears throat> Well, Wilson's in and he says, Howdy from the west coast of Arizona. Good evening, Ward. How the devil are you? Hey, or for you, it'll be good afternoon. Jenny, Jen, Jen Smith's in. Good evening, Jen. Jen. Hello, Jen. Hey. Jen. I'm going to mention that pen again because I think it's absolutely adorable. Nice. Yeah, the piece of burr elm came from me, sent across to Jake. Jake stabilised it and cast it in resin. I think he cast it in one of the Saturday morning cartoons. Then he sent it to Jen. Jen turned a pen out of it, which is beautiful. She sent it back to Jake, and Jake brought it across for us. It is beautiful. Turn the speed up a bit. Jen says she's so glad that you liked it, Wayne. Liked it, Jen. Who? It. Well, the thing is, who wouldn't? Mm -hmm. Oh, Ward says it's topping 100 degrees Fahrenheit in Arizona. Oh, bloody hell. Oof. And it's not it's not even your hottest part uh, hottest season yet is it holy moly and i thought arkansas was bad when i went in june you thought your ass was sore yes mate it's because uh, mc bum master was <laughs> 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 oh dear you left that barn door wide open <laughs> all right so ashley has got a question she says okay so was he going to skip sanding sealer when he was going to go straight to the oil because sanding sealer raises the grain so it wouldn't make sense to put that on and then not sand right, right. okay the... now i understand <laughs> Right, the other thing about using sand and... Now, you can use sand and sealer before oil. But the, one of the reasons for using oil is that it will <clears throat> penetrate into the wood. And if you've actually sealed the wood with sand and sealer, it won't penetrate as far. And you need to get a bit of penetration when you're using oil. You do. If, you, if you're going to get covered <laughs> up in oil, then you need some penetration. Real deep. <laughs> As uh, Roy Castle used to say, penetrations, what do you need? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be your record breaker. That's the one. Why have they... Hodge says everyone that likes penetration. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the wrong time to start singing one finger, one thumb? I don't know, but have we got a penetrate? I'm just having a look now. No, but we have got a... Yes! <laughs> YouTube don't like the word penetration. <laughs> no. <laughs> it doesn't like it at all, does it? <laughs> What's that? That's four now. <laughs> and Ashley says, ooh, besides that being hilarious penetration joke... That's valuable advice. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ashley, but if uh, if you've got this far along in life and you haven't realised just how important penetration is. <laughs> Doing something wrong, yeah. <laughs> That's all fine. Let's see if I can turn the speed up a bit now. Just because it's become my job because Jake isn't here. Uh, or well, it's my or Scott's job to remind you that 13 of you lovely people have a fantastic opportunity to smash that thumbs up button. There we go. 
Keep it classy. Hashtag. Well done, Ashley. But not tonight. It's Saturday night. You can let your hair down. Shock. Oh, bugger. I ain't got nowhere. Yeah. You got another one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a, a, there's about half a dozen in here. Unless that's the, the same one. Right then, here we go again. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Final <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Witch Creation says, uh, turn the speed up, get big sparks. Yeah. <laughs> no, Ashley, they're nails. Yeah. They're bullets from Wayne's machine gun lock. Can you hear it? It's like an AK-47. Is that another one further around? That's going to be a bitch to come out. Wayne? Where? Uh, there? Yeah. Not too sure at the moment. It could be. <coughs> Right, here we go again. Ashley says, oh my God, be careful, Wayne. What the heck? <laughs> don't, don't worry, Ash. We've done this before. Several, several times before. <laughs> yeah, several times before. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do like that one though, Scott and Martin put in here, yeah, get bigger sparks. All you need is, as, as Mr. Clarkson would say, more speed, more power. <laughs> Charlie Taylor's put, mind the lead. <laughs> right, that's the end Ashley of the new year. Watch Clarkson in a while. Oh, Have you not yeah. seen his farm series, Ashley? Clarkson's farm is uh, is yeah. quite funny. I haven't seen it all. I've only seen a couple of episodes, but he's had me in bits both times. Mm. A huge what? off Lamborghini tractor. Yeah, but it was when when he when uh, what's his name the uh, the young lad told him what to do and then went off and left him and he come back and he just basically ploughed the field however he wanted. Mm. <laughs> and he's going, how am I supposed to get get between it when I go to water it and fertilize it? Clouds, you know. No. <laughs> Will it not work? Susie Swiss, Susie Swiss Return has joined us. Hey, Susie. Good evening, Susie. And Hodgepodge says someone's been nailing that bitch all over the place. Oh, the just. <laughs> or screwing the beach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ashley, if you haven't seen it, I do suggest uh, get onto Amazon uh, if you've got Amazon uh, and oh, have a look. David Birch has joined us. Hey, David. Good evening, David. And Doug says, says uh, Wayne's used to a hammer and a chisel for making Stonehenge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, David says he's dropped in to say hi, but he can't stop for long. Uh, not, not, That's fine, not, David. That's fine. Not a problem. We, just, we appreciate you popping in, mate. Tonight Wayne's uh, Wayne's carving a bowl. <laughs> carving fucking something in a minute. The F bomb emotion. Oh sorry, sorry. Emotional damage. <laughs> right, I'll see if I can take a bit more out of this before I Wayne dig that out. Right, how many more am I going to find? Oh, putting that. Anybody opening a book on that? Oh, 
bloody, bloody, <laughs> bloody goads again. Okay, then. Question for the chat. How many more nails do we think that uh, Wayne is going to come across this evening? <laughs> Ashley, I do not know yet, but I am going to send Steve SK uh, a message tonight to try and find out. Uh, Hodgepodge said he's going with six. Uh, <laughs> Ashley, three. Uh, Terry says four, Dr. Bob says four, and Barry Chitty says four. Martin at Woody's <laughs> Creations is loving this. He says 34 more nails. <laughs> oh, geez, we'll, we'll be here all night. <laughs> I, I think that's what Martin wants. He's quite happy with that. Uh, Andy, uh, Andy says, uh, uh, so it says, angle grinder. Top of the shot, the number one answer is angle grinder. <laughs> The Electro Gouge 4000. Oh, no. What? Somebody kick out the riffraff. There's a guy in there called Blue Light Turner. He says 69. Six and nine. Oh. It's anyway up. Key to the door. It's number four. Uh, <laughs> Tim from TF Turning says, been here two minutes and heard Wayne Square Forces already. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> yeah, Martin says this really slows Wayne down. <laughs> I'm going to send him a blank for next week, uh, Martin, and I'm going to whack a load of those in the middle <laughs> just so we get to enjoy it for much longer. There you go, Ashley. It may even be as early as the 20th if Terry's back from his holiday in time. Is he on holiday again? Well, I'm just going to read that one, yeah. Good advice, Douglas. I like it. <laughs> Terry's got a thing about going on holiday. Uh, he liked, he, I do believe that Terry has a regular slot on YouTube on a, a Monday night, but I've got a feeling now that he's doing it as a timeshare with Pete from Twisted Tree. <laughs> and Terry Cox has joined us. <laughs> Good evening, Terry. Hey, Terry. All the way from Indiana. All I can say, Terry, is Ashley's very excited, so you better make sure you're back from 20 or something, sound of it. And I do need to, to get into work and book that weekend if that's the case. I'm looking forward to it. I really don't want to jinx it, but I am going to say, Wayne, I think all of our guesses may be wrong. <coughs> awesome, Terry. That'd be awesome. Well, just had a bit of fun with it. I'll have to reshape that. Shane Harris says, Terry, Terry's always on holiday. He just shows up to do lives every now and then. Yeah, usually about once every six weeks, Terry turns up to do a life. <laughs> Ashley says, make us trivia. Makes me realise just how much more you lot all know about the states than I do. 
don't go there. Don't go there. I, I can't even remember David Jason's name half the time. <laughs> Who? Yeah, exactly. All right, Greg. All right, Dave. <laughs> oh. Damn. Oh, is there another one? Another one. Bad stuff. Yeah, I just saw the shine, man. Yeah. Oh. Jesus Christus. <laughs> Right, where are we having it? <laughs> <laughs> I queued that one up ready. I queued it up ready. I thought, yeah, just in case. <laughs> Terry says, yes, Shane, I'll fly in to do a live and then I'm off again. <laughs> you Terry Cox is... life, Terry. <laughs> Terry Cox has just joined. Turned a 14 inch maple burr. Finished pouring resin, so it should be ready to start turning in a couple of hours. Nice. And Ashley says it'll be worth it, Wayne. This bowl is beautiful. Thank you, Pearl. Ah, that's it, Ben. You're right. He says you've got it all wrong. When Terry is here, he's holidaying. When he's away, he's home. Oh, man. that's not. Okay. I can oh, hear the ice cream, man. Where's an ice cream van? At your place? That's my house, yeah. Oh. Oh, no. How quick can you get there, Scott? I ain't got no money in the workshop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I have. <laughs> Scott will be back just shortly. After Go and get yourself an ice cream. I want a lick of 99. That's what she oh, said. No. Emotional, damn it. That's what Arnie Schwarzenegger said. I'll be I back. Don't, I don't need to hear that. I want a lick of 99. No, thank you. <laughs> Speak amongst yourself, guys. I might be here a while. We've got some advice in the chat for you, Wayne, and it says, What's Douglas Sullivan says, Get yourself a metal lathe. <laughs> <laughs> and a carbide, uh, a, a, a carbide uh, insert for that one. Jesus. That's deep. Oh, that's, this is deep. Scott's not really getting deep. an ice cream. Did you off before we got there? Yeah. I got the Wait. emotional damage just right. <laughs> Wait. I'm going to get them nails off Wayne and I'm going to put them in his tyres. <laughs> <clears throat> Wayne said that one's deep. Real deep. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the treasure on uh, Oak Island, Wayne. <laughs> Except they, I'm they, finding something. Yeah, but they've dug this deep already, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> Hodgepodge re reckons they must have used lube with this now for extra <laughs> penetration. <laughs> penetration. Oh, oh, hell, that is in a long way. It's a six inch now. Whoa, Wayne, watch that hole now because it's just moved in the chuck. Yeah, no bother. Cheers, Chuck. No worries, mate. Right, let's see if I can grab hold of that. I still don't think it'll come out, though. Douglas Mangum reckons, uh, wants to know, how deep in the tree are they? Oh. We're we're Sorry, Douglas? <clears throat> he says, how deep in the tree were they? Uh, I've got they no deep? idea, because they weren't actually showing before I cut, started cutting on the bandsaw. They weren't showing on, on either side of the wood. These things are buried in here, very, very deep. <laughs> and Adam, I love wood tanning, says, glad he's not my dentist. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would be some dental work. Go on then, question for the chat. 
If Wayne was a dentist, what would his name be? <laughs> yeah, look, Martin's properly impressed this time. He said, look at that, we're 45 minutes in and he's still on the first project. <laughs> <laughs> Terry says butcher. Billy Brown uh, says yeah, Phil McCavity. <laughs> Jen Smith says Dr. Drilly DDS. <laughs> <laughs> some good ones, some good ones already. Phil McCavity. <laughs> okay. God, it must be down to nearly the bottom of this now. Connie, Connie's in. <laughs> <laughs> Carney, Carney. That'll be a. Uh... Carney, Carney, you cheeky girl. <laughs> if you're just tuning in, <clears throat> we're looking for the lost treasure of Oak Island in a bit of beach. <laughs> Mine are with his creation, then. Yarn Bob? It could be at this rate. Uh, yeah, it could be at this rate. It Either that, or I'm just, I'm just about to take this off the lathe and chuck it at something. You're joking, man. Yes, Connie thinks there may be buried treasure. Are they iron nails then, Wayne? Yeah. The one he showed the camera, I'm not sure because it's a bit difficult to tell, but it looked like it were a Galvey. <laughs> it probably, Joey. tell you the truth, it probably is. Joey says, frisbee it, Wayne! And Martin said, frisbee! <laughs> and Terry Benny Brown says, said, the pyre. <laughs> Terry says you should have got metal detecting on the beach. On the beach. <laughs> He's got it. Doug, He's got it. I think he hasn't it snapped, snapped again. It. Oh, you're joking. Oh. No. Bells, bells. Tonight's right, live. To... It's going to be one of Wayne's longest. <laughs> Great. I'll turn that down a bit further so I can get closer. Get into yeah. It. He's right, holding all the sharpening this gouge yet. I did reposition that, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Right, where is it? It is there. There. You got it. You got it. Just watch your microphone, Wayne, when you get a second. Oh, you haven't just run off and got yourself an ice cream. We are doing things like that, Chuck. Yes, yes you, you would. would. I think he's doing the round different tonight. <laughs> right. Exciting stuff this to watch, isn't it? Hey, you're not wrong, mate. It's good learning, no? Well, it just goes I'm to not... show that it does happen. These things happen. Ooh. Well, the only thing I'm learning is new swear words. <laughs> yes, it's a good job it's Saturday night then. That's all I can say. Ashley said it's worth it. And Jen Smith says learning opportunities. We love it.
<laughs> I would highly recommend to people, somebody mentioned it before, but I would actually highly recommend to people buying a very small metal detector that you can just run over yeah, the, the top of wood. The little handheld one. Yeah. Oh, no. Ashley's trying to big herself up. She said the best things are hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, don't worry about that. The lid wasn't spinning. <laughs> That's Ben said, this is why whenever I see a tree, I put a four-inch nail into it to give future woodturners something to do. <laughs> ben, you probably would as well. <laughs> um, On the way back from Mackie D's. <laughs> and Robert Hodge says, I've heard you can use fire on the blank to get the nails out. Like being with crazy women, fire is both emotionally taxing and fun. <laughs> and, and it can cause emotional damage. Douglas Mullum says Amazon do them for £20, so I guess that's a little handheld. I will have to have a look for them. That's what Wayne's going to call this, Bob. The emotional damage. No, I think... Uh... He's getting to the stage of calling it a twat. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Move. I can actually see that on against the chisel. That's mad. Mm. See now the thing is there's no sign on the outside of the bowl of where this was. And obviously there was no sign when I was cleaning it out of where it was. It was just in there. Yeah. To answer your question, Ashley, only one. Uh, this is a, this is there's only been one nail since I asked the question, but this is a big one. Right, it's moving a bit. I don't know if I've just snapped it, but it is moving a bit. Moving on, moving on out. Go on, Wayne. You can do it. Hey, Wayne Bigfoot and Auntie Bell's in. Good evening, Wayne and Valerie. How the devil are you? Martin says he hates to see a grown man cry. He's not going to cry. What you're going to get is, you're joking, man, you twat. <laughs> there we are, then. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, Dr. Bob said this bowl will be a one-of-a-kind collector's item in the Wayne collection. Oh. You... oh, is it broke? Or did you get it? Yeah, no, it snapped. Right, drill again. I thought he got it, though. Uh, Wayne Bigfoot says uh, Wayne has nailed another wood turning project. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, <laughs> oh there we are. Got it. I think I think I just got it there. Got it. Go on, mate. Oh, that's the head of the bloody nail. What that's why this? you couldn't pull it out then, mate. That's why you couldn't way. pull it out. That's the other side. So that tree's grown round that nail then. Yeah. Right, this is gonna end up being a thinner walled bull than I expected. Right. Let's have okay. some uh... 
let's have some red hearts in the chat for Wayne and Auntie Val. Yes. Go on. Awesome yes. couple. Looked after loads of people last weekend. You know you want us. I think Val was carrying, carry, oh, sorry, Valerie was carrying everybody's purchases. <laughs> yes, she was buried. What, what do you mean, everybody's? That was just Wayne's. Oh, yeah, of course it was. <laughs> and Jamie wasn't even there. You can't blame Jamie for making him buy that one. <laughs> That's better. Right. Here we go again. As Abba said. Here we go again. Yes, definitely. Billy Brown says he deserves a thumbs up for all the denailing. Indeed. So chuck some thumbs in and all. Happy days. And if you really want to show your appreciation for all Wayne's hard work tonight, up at the top of the chat is a link to Wayne's Buy Me A Coffee. It's exactly mm -hmm. Buy Me A Wine. And I'm sure after this live, he's going to need a bottle. I think you might need a barrel after this one. A vineyard. And do you know what? I think if the spoking wasn't so nice on it, I think this would already have uh, been an unidentified flying object in Dumfries about now. <laughs> Jamie was responsible for a two hundred pound at Easywood Tools for a new tools for Valerie. Oh dear me! Yeah, but yeah, but Wayne, that's an investment. That's an investment that keeps your lovely wife very, very happy. So, Scott, <clears throat> you didn't get an ice cream then? No. <laughs> That's quite a dejected face you've got on there as well, Sunshine. <laughs> That's all right. After the live, I go to Tesco's and I buy a box. <laughs> <laughs> Our ice cream man, you know, like the 99 Mr. Whippy stuff? Mm -hmm. He either does a norm, normal vanilla flavour or he does strawberry flavour. Oh. Uh, yeah, but you're in Horsham, aren't you? So he's a posh ice cream man. He ain't that posh, mate. He's more his terrier drives around in it with him. Right. <laughs> Ram boy, you should get vanilla flavour or you get vanilla flavour with stones. That's if you drop it because you can't much you pick it back up and eat it anyway. <laughs> I take it that strawberry flavour is going to be pink then. Yep. He's not from Brighton, is he? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Whippy. Mm, we know what he is. <laughs> Tell you what, if I funnel this ball, it is definitely going for a fly. You're not going to funnel that. We've got faith in you, Wayne. Yes. <laughs> ben says, how much is the 99 now? The prices have gone up. £2.50. <laughs> 99 No, no chance. <clears throat> £2.50 for a double cone and a flake. Martin, how many did you uh, did you bet that it had? How many how many nails did you bet that it had, Martin? <laughs> 
<laughs> so, so he's dying for the click, click, click. <laughs> Lionel's, in. Lionel's in. Good evening, Lionel. The 53 watching. And 22 people still have that opportunity. Just smash That's that thumbs up. That's the one. Ashley, what what to Wayne Bigfoot is referring to when he says, "If you knew Valerie, you would understand why nothing's too good for her," is because uh, Valerie volunteered to clean Wayne Bigfoot's shoes, uh, and and he was, you know, he was well in Still love forever. Him. Then he was in love forever. Then because she started thirty four years ago, <laughs> she still ain't finished. That's she how done, big he's done, 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 done the left one. <laughs> <laughs> but, he's, he's not called Big Feet he's for nothing that's the one <laughs> as Martin put it go on nail that thumbs up yes <laughs> cheers Martin <laughs> Wayne's offered to, to take us all on the Norfolk Broads uh in the summer. That's in the right shoe before before that gets polished. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> we can do a booze cruise. Wait, we'll do a booze cruise because of France in the right shoe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll drag the left shoe behind us so we can fill it with booze on the way back. <laughs> If we set up set off from near Jamie's, they won't, you know, they won't think it's anything different. <coughs> yeah, I do love that spot in that. Yeah, Wayne, that... Might, Wayne might have some competition here because Douglas, Mung, Douglas Mungham's a size thirteen. How big are Wayne's? I believe that's why Douglas has uh, such a good choice. Use really to power the outboard. I like that one. Uh, I believe Wayne's a 14, Douglas, but I'm sure we'll answer any second. <clears throat> <clears throat> Totally unorganised tonight, but still. No worries, mate. Ward Wilson went, what just went by? That was uh, one of my sanding discs. <coughs> Barry so Chitty I'll says, just... here's a size 13, is it? I'll tell you what, I'll just... Yeah, but there's a reason Barry's a size 13. Okay. So he don't get stuck in the mud when he's climbing to his digger. Ah, right. Spreads the weight out, you know. So, so they're like snowshoes. He's actually only a size 5. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Bob said UFO. <laughs> Really, you can do it. Really, you can do it. Brushy. Sadly, I couldn't find where the music was that goes. Oh well. So I could go. Oh yeah. <laughs> There we go. He's making your wood hard around about now. (laughs) 
Have you seen that? Um, House of Resin have got a sticker that says that. <laughs> yeah, House of Resin have got a sticker that says, I can make your wood hard. <laughs> they had, in the 2019 makers, they had loads of different stickers. They did this time, Wayne. There was about five different stickers that I saw. Oh, and I, I think thought, House of Resin ones. Yeah, and I thought, that's mad. I've got they, were all, they were all... Um, Either double on tonder or uh, yeah, that's it, something yeah. like that. I've got a t-shirt <laughs> on my teesprings that says, "I love it. I love it when women rub my wood." <laughs> <laughs> Connie, Connie's got some uh, very. Um, uh, how can I put it? Uh, not confused. Some exclamation faces. What? <laughs> <laughs> Barry Chitty said the reason is they have to carry the weight. No, Barry, I'm not having that because I've only got size nine and a half. <laughs> yeah, I've only got size nine. Yeah, I've only got size nine. <laughs> although, although if I buy night trainers, for some reason I have to buy a 10. How does that work? <laughs> do it for Yorkshire. Oh, yeah, we could do that, couldn't we? My God, it's gone nine o'clock. Yeah. Oh, it it, it got nine o'clock. You're getting that. Your hands are so pretty, can be soft as your face. With light brown, you're gritty. I was really hoping that's what it was, and I clicked on it, and sure enough. <laughs> uh. Oh, see that? I caught that. Look at that. Juggler. He's the juggler. <clears throat> there we go. And just finish it off with some microcrystalline wax. There you go, Douglas. Uh, I wear 13S if they are a large size. Otherwise, it's a 14 because I'm only 5 foot 10. They seem even more out of proportion. There you go. Straight what the hell are you talking about now? Wayne's feet. Wayne's feet. No. Barry, Barry. He's a lightweight. The man's a lightweight lot. He says here he's got 18 stone on him. Is that it? <laughs> oh, dear. I've only just got back into the 18s. Very. I've come a long way. <clears throat> All right. Let's get stuff out of the way here. Yeah. Billy Brown says one hour for the wood, 10 minutes for the nails. I think it might be the other way around. <laughs> uh, ben says when a clown buys clown shoes do they request a bigger size or do they still use their normal size and is there a standardised extra length that gets added I don't know <laughs> right hang on we'll ask creamy glasses so I can see no don't do it Wayne don't do it Whenever he cleans his glasses so he can see, he usually, usually brings us back in, so I'm sitting up, Scott. Scott, stop. Stop. Oh, put your tongue away. Stop looking at the screen. Yeah. Put your tongue up, Scott. Dear me. <laughs> no need. Where's that? That's it. Right. I'll, I'll show off the ball first. There you go, guys. Yes. One altered beach ball. Denailed. Denailed. Um, that could be a nice sunset scene. It can. It can indeed. Um, did you keep the nails, Wayne? No. Oh, I thought you were going to weigh them in, see if you can... <laughs> <laughs> no, Ah, Stephen the Wood Dude is in, Wayne. Hey, Stephen. Stephen the Wood Dude. Good evening. Right, let's bring the guys back in. Some nice there comments. They are. Hey! Uh, Martin says, Fab Wayne, thanks for sharing with us. Uh, and Jen said it's definitely worth the nail work. 
Oh. <laughs> and more Wilson says, nailed it. Nailed it. Don't, Cheers. Don't even, go on. Thanks, don't even go on about nail work. <laughs> Connie says, hey, nah. Are you going to put some Thank acrylics you, on it now? Hey? <coughs> well, nails. Are you going to have some acrylics put on them now? Don't, don't, as we say, don't even start talking about painted nails. From my video, I got a load of comments going, oh, did you have any nails done, especially? No, it was me daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll put that in. <laughs> I honestly didn't have them done specially, did I? <laughs> Here we go. Martin's asking what colour are you having your nails done? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Black. <laughs> and Terry says, Thanks, Terry. Wayne. <laughs> Jen's <Gentleman. laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, she's oh, Stephen, Stephen, don't watch the video from the beginning. <laughs> Flip through it. I spend more time denailing this piece of wood than Billy Turner. <laughs> what was it in total? Four nails? Five nails? Oh, well, I don't. Well, there was the, the two. They say, don't forget, he had some be from oh, the blank yeah. itself that ripped yeah, the bandsaw blade. Six in total, then. There was two that blunted the bandsaw blade. I got them out before we started turning. Then I found another two on the bottom of the bowl, and mm -hmm. another one it was either one or two on the inside of the bowl. One, I think it was two on the inside, wasn't it? Yeah. No, it was the it was the one, but he kept having to go down to it. I think. Yeah, but before, right, he okay. that, before he got down to that bit, there was one on the top, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. you're right. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say, it might well, have been, but yeah, it yeah. was. Six in total. Nightmare. <laughs> nightmare. Total nightmare. Stephen says, thank oh, you. Oh, right. Up, um, ne next week. <laughs> yeah, that's okay, Stephen. <laughs> next week, um, I think Scott and I are doing a, a swap around again. So uh, mm -hmm. Scott's going to be doing Wednesday, and I'm doing Thursday because Scott is flying up to see deal to do some work on the Thursday. Next Saturday, the 14th, I am, I don't think I'll be doing a live next Saturday. I've got a, a live demo on across in Northumberland and it'll, that finishes at four. It'll take us two, two and a half hours to get back home. Um, mind you saying that, I should be home before seven. So, we'll see well, if, I, if, I put, if I put if I put if I put a live out next week. I'll put a live out next week. If as I don't, they say, I don't. If not, as they say, in his workshop. Yeah, as they say, we'll suck it and see. <laughs> <laughs> I am Thank surprised you, Paul. that you didn't change that name halfway through there, Scott. <laughs> Ray, right, guys, I don't know about the rest of you, but I am. Um, Effing knackered after that. <laughs> You've done some effing dental work today. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a craft show to get ready for. Billy Brown. Oh, Billy Brown. He'll, he'll see you there, on, there on Saturday. Yeah. No problem, Billy. I'll see you there. I, I haven't got a Scooby what I'm doing yet, but I'll do something. I bet you won't be doing that other piece of wood. I'll not be doing the fucking spot and beef, that's for certain. <laughs> 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 That's got to be a record for you, Wayne. I mean, it's it's fourteen minutes past the hour. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm going to call it a day. Let's call it Saturday, just for a laugh. Yeah, let's call it. And I'm going. Yeah, and I'm going to press the button. See you all later. Much appreciated, everybody coming in. Thank you, everybody, and I will see you next. Oh well, I've got a premiere out tomorrow night, but I'll mm -hmm. see you next Thursday. Um, bye for now.